Officer Haley Arsenal has now egressed the vehicle, the first of the Inspiration4 crew, and so very excited. Lots of waves, thumbs Some up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Getting a little photo up. <laughs> and it looks like up next is Dr. Cyan Proctor. And this is very exciting for the crew to be uh, exiting the capsule and finishing their inspiration for mission, a mission that's done so much uh, for folks around the world. Yes, absolutely inspiring all the way around. Just an incredible mission with an incredible crew. And here comes Dr. Cyan Proctor. <laughs> there, there she is, excited as ever. Dr. Cyan Proctor. Oh, I love it. Love it. <laughs> Just strutting on down. I know, no problem at all. <laughs> Looks like mission specialist Chris Sembroski is up next to egress the vehicle. <laughs> Looks like some dancing there. <laughs> Again, there is crew there to help them egress to make sure that they do not damage um, their suits or themselves on their way out. And that is Chris Sembroski again, the mission specialist. <laughs> Again, with a smile all over his face, super excited, <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Commander Jared Isaacman getting ready to egress the vehicle as well. The final fourth Inspiration4 crew member of the first all-civilian crew mission to orbit. And what a way to close it out. He was really the, um, uh, the, the person with the vision. <laughs> there he is. Commander Jared Isaacman of the Inspiration4 crew. So excited. <laughs> Handshakes and hugs all Amazing. around. Amazing. Now they will be uh, doing a standard procedure, going into the medical room on the recovery vessel um, and doing some medical checks, make sure that the crew is safe and healthy. Um, and then they will hop on a helicopter and head back to Florida.